Hey guys and welcome back to God of War. Uh, so, last time I promised you guys and or said, <laughs> I don't remember exactly, but I said that we would complete Hellmouth more or less. Um, didn't know what that meant at the time. Um, so the challenges just revved up and they became crazy. <laughs> so great. These were significantly harder than I had thought. <laughs> um, they ramp up. One of them is to not get hit at all, which is kind of not that bad, but they throw, um, the werewolves at you that are impossible. They're like just berserkers that they don't get like stun locked and you can only dodge away so many times. So you need to have attacked at the right time. It's possible, but I just chose to ignore them. And that'd be what I would suggest for you guys if you're having massive trouble with, with doing this, because I feel like this is a farming peak, if that makes any sense. Um, so, <laughs> what I mean by that um, is you need to get to this point um, in order to just farm for souls and stuff like that. We'll see if that's actually the case. Um, but yes, you need to complete three of the impossible challenges to get three keys, which allows you to have access to this, which I believe is just farming souls. Uh, materials stuff like that. I already mentioned the one where you cannot get hit is annoying The one that's even more infuriating is the one where you have to kill things in a circle Which I'm not even sure if I have gameplay of <laughs> we tried it on stream and it was bad <laughs> By the way, I'm not sure if I have all three matches that I completed um, But yeah, I do know I completed the one that I just completed last night Which was the one to just keep killing um, and every time you get a kill you gain some time and yeah, yeah, yeah Anyways uh, that is done. Oh, by the way, um, I also, before I did that, because I was having a lot of trouble with the uh, Im uh, impossible things, because my level was so painfully low. In fact, I fought a Valkyrie, probably not at the time you were supposed to <laughs> at all. Yeah, I was looking at gameplay of other people killing Valkyries, and they're taking just heaps of um, health off of them, and I'm just like, I had to... I only got that damage when I was using my specifically broken abilities <laughs> and whatnot. Which, by the way, I'll go through. I've seen some people using certain abilities where I'm just like, Do you know that this one, like, eviscerates everything and is on a 20 second cooldown? <laughs> like, it's crazy. But without further ado, uh, let's, let's start the match. Or at least look at what it says. Uh, so this is what makes me think it's a farming location, but I'm not sure if we're going to get rewards for it. So it says, Hidden Trial, Time Attack, Defeat as many enemies as possible bleh, before the time limit expires. Um, you can get gold, silver, or bronze. Um, I, I'm actually going to warm up <laughs> because I haven't played today at all, and then we'll get into it. Oh, so, so by the way, I found out the best like combo to do with the axe that makes the axe just a monster, which is just to keep dashing, and then eventually that activates, and then things get just ridiculous. And you can just keep piling on that. Yeah, just to keep using the X. I don't really use this that much unless I'm dodging, but it basically makes it so you're always in an invulnerable state. Invulnerable? <laughs> the reason why is because every time you dodge, you have that uh, invincibility, invincibility frame. My god, <laughs> is that difficult to say? Yeah, see that? That thing. When you get to this thing starting to proc, it's crazy. And if you double down with the frost tether as well, it's even crazier. Because that increases your damage and everything else. Which also increases the damage of that one tether. And it's just madness. But then again, uh, this is a ton of fun. You're just like, just a wrecking ball. <laughs> I missed everyone there, but you get it. Ah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's activate the actual challenge. I haven't played all day, haven't said a word. My mouth, I was trying to say words at a moment ago and I, 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 could, I can't hear through my mic and I'm making excuses, I'm panicking. Wait, it defeat as, any, as many enemies as you can before the time limit expires? Okay, but we don't get time by killing so we literally just need to keep consistent damage happening. Got it. I think I know what to do. And these people take more damage from that. Also, I'm finally fighting enemies that are the on the same level as me, which is so incredibly nice <laughs> instead of having to hit them an extra thousand times. You're not dead still, wow. But for sure you'd be gone. Quickly. This. Boom. Nice. Some of this. Boom. This is all a little bit bigger of a cooldown. Should have been careful. That was awesome. <laughs> it was really cool. <laughs> Keep uh, electricity happening. Oh, let's do this. Oh, come on, Trace. Make sure she's stunned. Ah, she got away. He's from that. Oh, come on, Atreus. 
There we go. Those ones are the worst because they always turtle up and they like they don't let you attack. Okay, see, that, that worked out real well. There we go. Alright, these ones I can manage. I guess this is just a gauntlet of all the enemies you fought in the game. I'm down. Oh, this is perfect for this. Oh, that one is so unbelievably powerful. Because <laughs> it affects everyone and it's just fire damage. So if they're weak against fire, they're just going to be getting eviscerated. Uh, this is probably a waste. Yeah, I shouldn't do that. It takes too long. Bad move. I'm doing the executions. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Oh. Woo. There we go. Hey, you're just gonna get, keep getting juggled like this. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I wanted to use my one thing more, but it didn't really allow me. Oh, you got that, do you? Check this shit out. Wah, ba, ba! <laughs> ba, bam! Oh, right, they explode. That's the, that's the issue here. All the way. Okay, we're making good business. And because I have this armor... By the way, I didn't really mention... My, well, did I? I think I mentioned that I went to the one place, but just not how I got the armor. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh, roll away, roll away. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's just a bit of poison. Oh, here we go. Now we can start using our axe. And our axe is extremely, extremely strong. So that's just lovely. All right, now let's do this. Just because I want to kill things faster. <laughs> I should probably wait till I fight something specifically horrible. But ah, <laughs> we'll be fine. Yeah, even this thing is just getting wrecked because of that. Yeah, and everything gets staggered because it has, I think, a little bit of stun in it, which is just enough to cause devastation to happen to every and anything. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. And this person's being a thing. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. Doesn't matter if you dodge, you're still going to be taking a stupid amount of damage. There we go. Uh, we got gold. Um, yeah, <laughs> we got gold. <laughs> I still haven't even used my one thing yet. My uh, hounds. I was kind of waiting for a bigger enemy to spawn, but they haven't spawned any... Oh, I think it's because most of the enemies that are big can be manipulated to fight the other people. So it kind of messes up. It's a mess up for them. It can hurt them all the same, I mean. Come on. Pop, pop, pop. And get that person, Atreus. Oh, I can't believe I got that one. Yeah, see, you just, you're never getting hit. Because, one, I think I'm resistant when I do that. So there's just a bunch of reasons why it works out. <laughs> Ooh, time that a little bit, a little bit out. Man, I'm trying to dodge, it's not happening. Check this out. So goddamn powerful. <laughs> Even this ice person I'm beating the shit out of with this. <laughs> it all works out. Yeah, but to get in that combo, you just gotta keep tapping it. Every level of every test. I don't think even Ragnarok can stop us now. Fire and brimstone, hell yeah. Ultra rare, complete all the trials of Misselheim. Actually, that true? <laughs> uh, we didn't, com we, we left some. We only need to complete three to get access to this. So I did exactly that, <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, I'll tell you guys my loader, I guess. Um, the things that, I don't know. I haven't really seen anyone talk about like the builds that they, that they're, they're, that's like the godliest build ever. And of course it changes, especially when you're fighting Valkyries, kind of. Although the ones I'm using, I think are pretty universally godly. Yeah, 
um, especially for killing Valkyries, uh, the ones, uh, the one that's evident as being like the best and the only one that I might change to when specifically fighting the Valkyries. And yeah, can you can you just keep doing this? Hmm, I might come back. I mean, if if we can, <laughs> I will insert a clip right now of us doing that, um, of us just keeping keeping trying, and maybe we can just keep farming resources this way. If so, it just says prove your. Oh no, that's what it's gonna do. That's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, we need to acquire more more keys. So is that the loop then? Oh, it's it's not just all right. <laughs> That's kind of disappointing though. So I guess we gotta keep. Is it like there's three sets? Because I think there was six in total, and I just got three keys, and there was three that I skipped. So that mean I need another three keys, or does that mean I can go do the same things I just did, and that's the loop? Completing those challenges, come back up here, do the final thing. The keys are reset. Go back down, get those things, because there is like Miss or Helheim's special thing, right? Like special currency that's exclusive to them. So it makes sense that that'd be how it'd work. But I don't know. I mean, it makes sense because that was really not that hard. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. What am I? What am I using? Well, the biggest difference is that I'm the appropriate level for almost every enemy that I've ever encountered, which is nice. I'm at least I'm at least level eight. Um, which, by the way, you go to the Mist place, Niflheim, I think it's called, um, and then uh, you just farm resources. Just farm the uh, uh, special chest, if you guys know what I mean. Uh, yeah, basically just get the armor. <laughs> you can look up a thousand videos on how to get the armor so that you're at least the appropriate level. Now, in my humble opinion, the best um, weapons in the game and etc. Are, uh, are as followed. <laughs> oh, this one, I haven't heard anyone really talk about, but it's... It's crazy. <laughs> it's ex like it's it's always been amazing. One, um, it's just a a good range damage. Um, secondly, it it's twenty six seconds. That that's extremely quick for this. Like I've seen some people use this one, right? It's on a fifty two second cooldown, and it doesn't do as much damage as mine. <laughs> so why are you using those one? This one is godly. I don't know where I got it. You can just look up um, God of War uh, Strike of the that <laughs> um, Utgard. Um, and you're good to go, and you'll find exactly where it was. Great. Um, but yes, definitely get your hands on this, because one of the things that's so evident is, yes, it only does three damage, which isn't crazy. But it's times three if you hold it, um, and that's crazy. And then it, the last one is it greatly increases the amount of frost damage per wave, which means any enemy is going to be on this, are slowed, basically. They're stopped in time. You can do this every 20 sec every 26 seconds. Whew. Um, godly, cannot tell you enough how, how, I wasn't a big fan of the axe, as soon as I got the chaos blades, I kind of exclusively used them, I'll tell you how that changed in a minute, but, um, I always just use this ability, I switched to my axe, whoosh, whoosh, and then switch back to my chaos blades, and they were practically dead, so I only need to hit them a couple other times. This one is probably one of the strongest in the game, period, um, it, it not only does it last a crazy long time, um, but it also give, gives you maxed out damage, it gives you maxed out frost, the only thing it doesn't give you is stun, but you're having to physically melee attack them, so that in a way is a stun, as long as you're hitting them, um, and the, the tethers are like a huge amount of distance, so you're gonna be hitting them, um, but yes, it increases the duration of you having that, and it gives you a bonus to runic attack damage. As for my chaos blades, what I, was, what I mostly use, um, this is debatable, this is the only one that I wasn't sure about. In general, it's kind of great because it's got good damage, it applies burn, it is a stun, it's on a 35 second cooldown, it's just good um, kind of overall. And um, increasing uh, burn damage um, on a hit and greatly increases the radius of the final impact, which as, as you guys can see is great. Um, but the only thing that I might think is better for killing Valkyries specifically, oh no, no, never mind. No, this is the best for this column, or at least for me. Oh uh, yes, never mind, this one is the best, I thought, I, I thought it was this. Um, but yeah, this one is the one I think might be the best for killing Valkyries because I could just see that doing a ton of damage, although it's not maxed out. And you know it is maxed out. This. <laughs> this has max damage. And it's a, it's a better cooldown than that, I believe, right? This is about the same. <laughs> it's about the same. But then, but this compared to this, I don't think there's much of a question. Um, it's insane, and the radius, I got like a clip of it, I'm not sure if I'll edit it in here, but the clip was insane, where... People, when fighting in this arena, were like a long distance back, and it still got them. So even if a Valkyrie like jumps back a far distance, the likelihood of her getting hit by this is still pretty good. As well as it's a ton of burn damage, and it's a, just a ton of base damage as well. Um, and basically, it's just like a detonation of all things around around Crota. <laughs> ah, uh, messed up saying that. But uh, the cooldown is uh, 86, which is fine, because I feel like all my, L, uh, my R2 attacks are kind of made to be that way. So that's like my oh shit button, but this is just mainly my spam button and etc. Uh, so yeah, those two things I, I have gotten me past pretty much everything. Now, um, the reason why I primarily use the axe now is because of this. 
um, which is funny because I or sorry <laughs> this in the slot of the axe this one is it just increases your strength and restores health good but neat at best uh, this however is to me significantly better uh, restores a small amount of health that's nice uh, also increases your strength nice <laughs> um, and fires a wave of energy on a normal attack um, and it's it's not, I know there's ones like this that, like, on the third attack of a light attack, it does a tether. This has a chance of proccing. I find pretty good because it, on any successful hit. So as long as you're hitting fast, this is having a chance to happen every single time you're hitting. And there's kind of a cheese in the game where you can do this. Attack, move forward, attack, dash, attack, dash. But first, let me just see if I can make it happen. Okay, so you can go boom. Attack, jump, just like that. You can keep spamming that out if you want. You can also just land a couple attacks like boom, boom, and then dash forward, and then keep doing that. You can get off a couple of other attacks and keep doing it like that, as long as you just keep in momentum. And the reason why this is so godly is because not only are you attacking a lot, so the chances of you getting that one perk is, is really high, because uh, in that spin attack, you're attacking twice rapidly, and you can do a third one, and you can do the same thing. As, but you're also hitting X, and what X is is it's a dodge. Now, what dodging does is an invincibility frame, as well as it messes up the AI. I just find them never be able to hit me when I'm really just making this all really work together, I suppose. Um, but yeah, what, what it works really well at, um, in is this. Yeah, because you can just keep doing that, and you just, you're just hitting a thousand different times, and also the likelihood... Um, of, uh, of you activating that other fire perk that's on our hilt of our axe um, is that much greater because it's having you're hitting like five times in one second so you're having a higher chance of that perk being activated um, and then you can even do this when you're ready boom boom and to me <laughs> this is what works well for me um, the only thing I'm not sure that I I haven't tested yet is I'm not sure if the hounds that my that Atreus uses are better um, than the boars because I've seen a lot of people use the boars and I feel like they may be better but this, the house just seems solid. First of all, do I have access uh, to upgrading my hilt? Because that's actually the one thing I'm like really, <laughs> really wanting to do. Because I never knew how godly that was. Your actual axe. <laughs> like if, if when that when that thing procs, it's a, it's a sizable amount of damage. Um, as well as I think it does burn damage on a passive level. Maybe? <laughs> ah. Um, yes, we can upgrade it. Uh, smoldering flames. Yeah, we have all the things I think we need. Um, yeah. I, yeah. Give you no trouble now. I think it's maxed out. I think, it's, I think it's the max it could possibly be. God damn. It's maxed out. I'm, am I the only one that's disappointed that Atreus doesn't really have a, a legendary outfit? Look, that's some bullshit. That would be the first thing I'd buy, okay? <laughs> or farm for. Your kid just, like, just decked out in gold or Niflheim armor that makes him, like, immune or recover faster or summon more animals. I don't know. Yeah, it does look like everything reset. Unless it didn't. Let's see. What is it asking us to do? Is this one where I can't get hit? Is it the one where I can't get hit? I never beat this one. Hit me! There we go. Alright, so this one clearly isn't what I was talking about. Because no, <laughs> not happening. It's not that it's impossible. I got really close one time. Um, but again, as soon as as soon as the one things pop out, the uh, like uh, werewolves, it's goddamn impossible. <laughs> it's just brutal. Uh, because, oh, wait, did I skip this one too? I think I did like the last two. No, I think I got it because the chest is open. And normally that would be shut if I activated the challenge and fail. What is it? Yeah, no, I did this one. Yeah, killed uh, enemies before the time runs out. Yeah, so they do reset. Okay, good. So you just reset and do whichever ones you want. That's actually really cool. So that you can basically farm forever, every and anything. Nice. So you can have a maxed out Niflheim outfit if you want. Well, I'm not doing that. Uh, so, yeah, how do I die? It just kill me. I'm actually pretty leveled up, so this may take a significant amount of time. But yeah, guys, that has been God of War. Um, I, I We might do, again, like I said, there might be an Out of Comfort series uh, where we're, we're doing, like, challenges, more or less, where we're trying to kill the Valkyries because, god damn, are the Valkyries just tough as nails. Oh, yeah, we got the gifts of the, the whatever and the aura of fire and all that jazz. Nice. Bam, dead. Nice. Go team. So yes, I might actually try to go after the Valkyries. I killed one. I feel like once you kill one, and like you have a run where you don't get hit like more or less that much at all, I think, especially now that I have a leveled up character, I think that it's more possible. I feel like I might have an easier time fighting the other Valkyries 
kind of biting my tongue though because I think they're all slightly different. I feel like the, the scythe ones have a bit of a different kit, but I think it's the same thing. It's block, block. You can't block that, so dodge away. Use Atreus when they go into their like float float mode, stuff like that. Am I making any sense? I don't know. But I completed the series. <laughs> um, um, we might do the whole uh, killing Valkyries thing if I just, I just want to get back into the game, which, by the way, I still, like, even after I beat it, everything's settled. There's other games I'm t jumping back into now. I still have such a beautiful memory of this game. Uh, because it is so so amazing and it's also cemented if you guys have ever heard the maker of this game like the the head designer lead developer that kind of thing he is just you can easily tell how and why this game is even a thing and like how it is so beautiful and how it is what it why it does certain things and and how long it took to make is a, i think evident of that um, but yeah, I just loved hearing the designer of this game talk about it for for like three podcasts I watched where he was interviewed by a ton of different people. Just a gem of a human um, from what I see. Um, and I love the game to tears and I cannot wait to see where the story inevitably goes. I think I may be speaking for all of us when I say that, but yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, subscribe button above me. TLV is to my right. Thank you so much and goodbye.